Thank you. Um, to close, we've got uh, two questions uh, about democracy. The first one is from Ken. How can democracy survive when policies are made on the basis of falsehoods? And the last question is from Alan. What would you say to people that didn't think it's important to vote in a local election or that don't or, or that don't vote at all? Well, they're really closely linked, aren't they? And I do understand mm. that people um, are are losing trust, have lost trust in politicians and politics. And I think it is about having that conversation with people to make sure that they have an awareness and understand the issues involved in, um, in their local areas. So it is about knocking on doors, talking to people and saying, you know, does your child go to the local school? Well, let's make sure that we keep that mm -hmm. good education. Um, your, your local library, do you use that? Your roads, do you want them to be better? Do you want the, trans to the traffic to slow down? That is what democracy is all about. And I, I, I do say to people, if you want things to change, then please use your vote. Final thing I'll say is I do have a special word uh, for women, uh, because we want more women to vote. We want to make sure uh, that you know, women died for the right to vote. Um, yeah. And we need more female voices. We need more voices from people with a diverse background. So please, vote. Use that opportunity. Use that right that you have, that people have, have died for, that in many countries they don't have, because it will affect your community. Well, thanks, Jane, for your comprehensive answers to our residents' question, and we'll make sure that, um, the, you know, their questions, are your answers, will get back to our residents. Thank you very much. Thank you.